In this demo, we'll take a look at recording and export. Let's start by clicking the Record and Export link in the Expired Export License Detection box. This will take you to the page where you'll be recording your export. Let's begin by clicking New to record a new export. You'll notice orange dots next to certain fields in the form. These indicate mandatory fields. The first is Reference Number. This can be anything that is relevant to your organization internally. Let's use the number 123456 in this example. Division and employee fields, as you can see, are already pre-populated. You can simply confirm that this information is correct and proceed to the next field. The next field is for authorization number. This is where you're going to select either the license or the agreement that is applicable to the export that you're recording. In this case, we're dealing with a hardware export, so let's select DSP5. The following field, description, is a wide open text field and can be used for any type of additional information related to this export that you would like to enter. How you use this field is completely at your discretion. The next step is to enter the date and the time that the export occurred using our calendar tool. Next we'll fill out an items section with items involved in the export. We'll assign the quantity and unit value of the item being exported, in this case a quantity of 1 and a unit value of $1000. Once we enter the information into these fields, we click on the little green plus sign and the information gets added to the system. Moving to the right hand side of the screen, the next field of information to be filled out is parties. This is where you're going to enter information related to the parties involved in this export. For this example, let's just use Joe Smith. Below the items section is the SAA checklist tool. This is available to assist you in validating the use of exemptions and exceptions. Click on the view checklist which opens up a series of questions at the bottom of the page. Read each question and answer accordingly. Once you've completed the checklist and click on save, the status will either be red or green. Red indicates that you should likely not proceed with an exemption or exception, while green indicates that it's likely okay to do so. Just bear in mind that this is simply a tool provided by the SIA and does not come with an official guarantee. On the right hand side of the screen are other fields. Each of these is a learning field identified by the watermark image of a university cap. As you use the system, these fields will begin to get populated with off-use entries, making creating and submitting new forms a little bit easier. Go through each, filling in the relevant information, either using the drop-down menu or manually entering the information. Finally, we'll get a chance to attach or link any related documents, be they waybills, courier slips, 